Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Apologies for taking the last two weeks off. It was not planned, but as you know if you're a regular viewer, I am currently redecorating and yeah, we just, we have workmen in and stuff. So I didn't get a chance to film basically for the last two weeks, but we are back and I realized I was planning to film my 2021 makeup rehab wrap up to talk about whether I met my goals in terms of what I set for my inventory reductions and things but I realised I actually hadn't filmed my 2021 project pan wrap up I think because I had my 12 pans of Christmas and then I did my intro for my 2022 project pan um, I just felt like I'd filmed so much project pan content that I think in my head I had filmed this um, and then I realised I actually hadn't so Today we are going to wrap up my 2021 project pan with the finale. If this is your first video of mine that you have clicked on for this project pan, I do have all my 2021 project pan videos in one playlist which I will link up in the eye, whatever side it goes on, um, so that you can watch from the beginning uh, if you've not seen that already. Because this is the finale, so there are products that have been rolled out over the course of the project as goals were met. So I feel like in a way the finale is maybe not the most exciting video because I think it's it's the sort of lingering on products. Uh, but yeah, I, I have made more progress on some of them since my last update, so we do need to film that and see where we're actually leaving those products. So let's get on into it. Let's just do the, the disappointing one. Morphe Making Bank. I was working on this shadow here. There is a dip. I feel like if I had not had two eyeshadows in this project pan, I would have maybe hit pan in this. Um, but I think it was just, I spent so long hitting pan on warm taupe before I really started concentrating in this one that we just never quite got there so I do have a dip I feel like if I put this in a future project I would get pan in it hopefully reasonably quickly no pan in this project so I, I am a little bit sad about that one The other boring update, let's just get out of the way, my tart lip pain. I feel like I say this every time, but this is still going strong. I don't really know how because I think there's two mils or something in here, but it keeps on going. Um, and because it is a liquid lipstick, like it just doesn't seem to settle or move or anything. Um, so you never really get any visible progress to watching the videos. So. Yeah, I won't be ever putting a liquid lipstick in a project pan again because they're just not visually satisfying for you guys, but I do still have it, so I kind of had to update you to say still using it, still going strong, still no visible changes, so that's that one. the slightly more interesting ones. My MAC Viva Glam lipstick. When this entered the project it was in a bullet, we used it down, scraped it out, so the last update it was in this, maybe was it in this for the last two updates? I can't quite remember. Um, I think maybe the last update was the first time it had been in this actually, but you could see when it had been scraped out and whatever. So this update, I've not finished this, which I was hoping to finish it, but you can see like that I've been using it so the last update it was quite bitty it was the way that I'd scraped it out kind of thing um where does it feel like it's all what's left it's kind of hard to see how much has been used because it's really smooshed together so you can see that I've been using it you can definitely see that I've made progress of some sort on it but it looks really visually different to the last time so it's kind of hard to see 
how much actual product has been used. I should have maybe actually weighed it for the last couple of updates, but it is what it is. This is what is left. So I think similar to the eyeshadow, if I put this in another project pan in the near future, I would get it finished up, which I feel like I probably will do. I would really like the satisfaction of finishing up this lipstick. So one of the things I've definitely realised is that I don't like using it in this format. I don't really like applying things with my fingers. I'd rather use brushes, mainly because I'm quite lazy, so I don't really get up in the morning. So I tend to do my makeup. I used to do it in the train pre-COVID when, you know, you weren't wearing masks and things. Whereas I now tend to do it in my desk in the first sort of five minutes before I, between me arriving and actually starting work. Um, so I just, I don't want my hands getting dirty and then I need to go down to the bathroom and wash my hands and... Uh, all of that kind of stuff. I know it sounds so petty and small, but I just really don't like when I use something and then I have to go clean my hands before I can move on with the next task. Um, so I'd much prefer having a lipstick just in a bullet or I have been using this as a cream blush, so then applying a blush with a brush rather than with my fingers. But having said that, as much as I don't like using it like this, which I feel then means I'm not going to naturally gravitate towards using it so I do think I need to put it probably in some kind of future project pan to actually force myself to use it. I do want the satisfaction of actually using it so I do think this will probably read its head in a future project pan at some point down the line. is following me into my 2022 project pan is my pink blush from the Hourglass palette. I'm trying not to show you dim light because that's one of my more exciting uh, finale updates. Yeah I feel like I have, I've continued to use this and I feel like it's it's maybe a little bit cleaner looking than it was but I feel like there's not much visual progress so yeah hopefully by the end of 2022 I will have actually finished this blush. That is the plan. And then for Dim Light, which is the other product, which was here, I have finished this. So that was my goal for this, was to try and finish it by the finale. And I have managed that goal. So I am very, very happy to have finished Dim Light. And yet yeah, I'm hoping in my 2022 project pan that we will finish up the pink blush. that I did have really good progress on throughout this project was my Tarte Party Blush. So this has been just visually one of the most satisfying um, products to watch the progress of in the project. At my last update I had said that for this update or for the finale I wanted to try and hit side pan at the top and I am very pleased to report that I have done that. So it's it's just a tiny sliver, you need to get really close to it to see it, but I have indeed hit side pan at the top here or at the bottom here, depending on which way you hold it. So I'm really, really pleased. Again, I could see me putting this in a future project pan to actually finish up entirely. So I've got a really good pan on it now. I'm really, really pleased with the progress that I made in the project and I would like to maybe see it finished up completely. So I could see this again in a future project pan at some point. Definitely been my favourite item in this project pan to watch. It's just been really satisfying um, and fairly steady and 
just generally everything that I want from a project pan item. <laughs> of my finale to update you on is my lip liner which I made a little bit of progress on not very much but it came down another little smidge and that's more than it's come down in the last couple of updates this really didn't move for a while I feel like maybe if we'd had a different year and we hadn't had the face coverings for the whole year which we did in Scotland I don't feel that I have used as much lip product and I feel like the lip products that I have used I've not been using like my liners and my matte lipsticks as much like I finished I think four lip glosses through this project I'll use a lip gloss because then if I need to get up and go somewhere I can just I can put my mask on to be honest straight over it and even if it smudges about a bit as long as it's not a really pigmented lip gloss it doesn't kind of look too bad when I take my mask back off or I can just kind of blow off the excess of it before I put my mask on. The flip side of it is that I probably use more lip glosses, more lip balms um, than I normally would. But yeah, I feel like my lip liners and my like bold lipsticks have really not had the use in the past two years just with the situation being what it's been. But obviously I do get to put nice bold lipsticks on at home so I'm still getting the joy out of them. I'm still, I still love bold lip, still my favourite makeup look but in terms of to make real progress in something I think you need to be using it multiple times a week and I'm not wearing bold lips multiple times a week at the moment. That is everything that was left in the project by the last update. This is my very final update. I am so glad that I did my 2021 project pan as much as yes there were certain items that I haven't made as much progress on as I would have liked to or I've not hit my goals on. There were so many more overall that I did hit my goal on and um, I'm really really glad that I started project planning and I'm definitely going to be taking it forward into 2022 and um, I've already done the intro for my main project plan for 2022 so I will link that up in the eye if you haven't seen it already so that you can go watch that and not my next video but very very soon my first update for that will go live so i will be taking project planning forward in my 2022 makeup rehab behaviors but do stay tuned because i will be doing my 2021 makeup rehab wrap up and also filming my 2022 makeup rehab intro where i'm going to talk about the goals that i'm setting for myself in 2022 with regards to how much i want to use up the ways that I want to use it up which will mainly be project planning and then like my inventory numbers and my goals on that. So do stay tuned for that if you've not subscribed already I would love to have you subscribe. I'm going to be doing a no buy year in 2022 as well as my general makeup rehab life so I would love to have you along for that ride if you are trying to also maybe cut back a little bit on your consuming and get more use out of what you're using that is the theme of my channel and that is going to continue for 2022 so I would love to have you along for that journey if that chimes with you. Thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!